guys welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be working on this spooky dog ghost poncho perfect for halloween so this one will be available in sizes small all the way to double xl and like always i give you the printing settings the picture guide on how to tape on the sample pattern the size chart and of course here's a video tutorial we're going to start by first doing the test square i always recommend that you print out the first page of the pattern file that way we can double check that you input it the printing settings correctly and it measures two by two we're good to go now on the instructions if you go back i tell you to tape and match on the dotted line from a1 all the way to a7 and then we're going to go down to b1 all the way to b7 okay so that's how we're going to tape and assemble the pattern and a couple more things are on the pages are you have a letter and number that way you know how to arrange them in order and of course it has the dotted border all around the page where we're going to be taping and matching. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to start by first working on the hood. Go ahead and cut two pieces of fabric and we're going to pin our sides together sewing half an inch seam allowance now let's work on the hem i'm going to do a half an inch for the edge of the hood and we are done with the hood for right now so let's put that to the side grab your poncho go ahead and cut one on the fold of the main fabric and then one on the fold of lining and here's the thing like i said earlier if you're working with fleece fabric for this project you don't need to add lining i guess because again it doesn't fray but if you want like a nicer finish go ahead cut the lining or if you're working with the fabric that does fray you will definitely need the lining Okay, so now go ahead, you can either mark or pin the back center of the poncho and we're doing this because we're going to start pinning the hood onto the poncho by starting with the back seam and we're going to pin to the sides afterwards and after that we're going to be sewing just like the hood area onto the poncho again half an inch seam allowance. Okay, so this is how your poncho should look like so far. Now we're going to go ahead and add the lining by placing them, both the poncho and the lining right sides together. And we're going to start pinning from the left side where the hood ends all around to the right side again where the hood ends. So we're basically leaving where the part where we sewed the hood open so later on we could flip it to the right side. And we're going to be sewing around dead half an inch seam allowance. And like I said earlier, if you want to keep it with the raw edge, especially if you're working with material that doesn't fray, you can skip this part. You don't have to add the lining and you can go towards the end where we add the Velcro. But I do recommend to add the lining, obviously, if you're working with material that does fray, you will need it. Okay, so yeah, we're going to sew all of that. And then after that, we're going to, before we flip it to the right side, we're going to trim and clip all of the corners. Now we're going to close the opening where we flipped the cape to the right side. We're going to quickly do a top stitch and then after that we're ready to add the velcro. The last thing we're going to do is sew on the velcro onto our poncho. Go ahead and cut two pieces that measure two inches in length. We're going to be pinning and sewing one in the front of the poncho and the other one's going to go in the inside. And after that, we are done. Here is how the cape looks. Like always, I'll link my Etsy store down below if you guys want to check out the pattern and purchase it. And if you guys do end up making it, tag me. We'll have to see how it turns out and how it looks on your dog so yeah i'll see you guys on the next video bye guys